Sup shooters, my name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to SP Reviews, where today we have ourselves, uh, so I, we're going to be reviewing a track off of an album by an egg named Kashi XO, titled Dog Boy, and if we switch over to here, um, I have been allowed to review any track off of the album for this one, I've just been said, Logan, review a track off of the album, what I would like to do, I think it's good to do this, is to actually review the first track off of an album, because the first track off of an album can make or break it. So I'm looking forward to listening to Kashi XO for the first time. We're going to listen through Dog Boy from start to finish. And we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. What do we got? What's this guy all about? Oh, I like the sound. A little bit of grit, a little bit of distortion to that, uh, that kind of calypso drumish kind of thing there. I by myself in a past life. What's 21 in dog years? They took me to school to act right. Maybe I'll get a gold star next year And it's so different when nobody seems to care At all, we all have I love the sound of his voice I like the minimalism of the production there with just the bum 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 It carries it incredibly well Fears of getting older, nostalgia's floating in the air I wanna be like who, wanna be like me Cause nobody even bothers Wanna dress like who, wanna dress like me Cause nobody gets my style Cause when you're different That makes all the difference You know But when you're different That makes all the difference You know I'm the dog boy mm. I'm the dog boy I'm the so he's talking about looking back over his life And trying to sort of understand the importance of him being different Dog boy So he's kind of accepting himself for who he is. I'm the dog boy. I'm the dog boy. I'm the dog boy. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I think that's dope. Um, yeah, so this is the the start of his album, Dog Boy, Kashi XO. Okay. Because this is my conclusion to this review of Dog Boy's Kashi XO. What do I think this track is about? I think it's basically introducing the concept of this album, which is Kashi XO as the dog boy. The one who is a little bit different, a little bit out there. It's sort of, maybe sort of elaborating on this persona of the dog boy or something like that. Sort of like setting up a sort of more of a, um, a kind of a concept album, I suppose, if you will. And I kind of adore it. I think it's really important when you make an album. Start off with a track that clearly sets out your expectations. Too often I have people bring in albums and it's like, well, what am I supposed to make of this? You know, things, you know, I can't really make a, sem un a semblance or things don't make sense. You know, you, 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 you have someone like talking about one thing and then it's a completely different topic, the other one. You know, I don't mind a variety album, you know, sometimes artists will just commit to, um, you know, like uh, maybe like, a, a different style of song with each track just to show their the variety of their interests and what they're into maybe by virtue of everything being very different that is the point of the album itself but in this one i believe it's simply about sort of kashi xo showing a little bit of vulnerability or something like that talking about why it's different how it's affected them and his sort of interactions with other people in everyday life and i'm all for that man i mean like i can't really say too much about the sort of the instrumental background i'm not sure what we get there with the rest of the tracks and by the way if you are intrigued by this album i'd recommend going and checking it out you know but it's a it's a it's a dope star you know like his voice is really nice and chill and easy to listen to I really enjoy that. I think it's really important for someone when they're singing or when they're kind of sort of sitting, again, when they're starting an album, you need to make sure that that is, is a palatable thing to listen to because this is like a 41 minute album, right? You, you need to keep that going strong the whole time. So kudos to Dog Boy for making that happen, for making that possible, uh, for Kashi XO. Um, you know, very comfortable in his, head, his chest voice. I'm not sure how much head voice we had there, but that was fine. Great transitions between notes. I'm not sure if we had any sort of modulation on his voice. Maybe a little bit of reverb, a little bit of compression, but not much more than that. But it's just, it's stunning how well you could just listen to him for that minute and a half with, that, with only needing that sort of, that same sort of motif being repeated over and over, you know. Um, the structure of it, I think, is sort of thoroughly through composed. We might have had a hook, V-hook. Kind of structure there like a baB or an aba depending on how you roll with that 
Um, but but aside from that, it's okay. I'm um, in a minute 21. I know it's kind of short for a review, but again, if it's the start of an album, it's the start of an album. You know, it's just as valid as the rest of the tracks. And again, this is at like 3,600 plays or something like that. So you know it's getting a bit of attention, which is good. I think that the tone of what we had with the boom, 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 that kind of harmonized sort of pluck or like stab going on there. What, what, I don't know what that is called. It's just a melodic percussive kind of device there with a continued sort of hypnotically mesmerizing groove the whole time. It puts you into a sense of peace fullness it's it's very relaxing to listen to and alongside the very sort of like chilled out way he communicated himself as we listened through this track um there's no animosity there's no bitterness it's again it's very conversational it matches the two pair very well you know it's it's great you know again i think that minimalism is justified here i have no issues whatsoever with the fact that we are trying to keep things nicely rounded there i think that if you put too many things at once within the start of an album it can be overwhelming for a listener and you don't really want to wear the listener out at the start of an album you want to be able to sort of like mish through it you know unless they know what they're getting into in advance you know that's overtly positive you know and i think again um i i think it'll be testament to like the the, the greatest sort of wider form factor this is why i recommend listening through the rest of them i mean the next track is stupid idiot now if we have a quick listen through that you know Morning. You know, we have like a lot of those 808s and stuff like that. You know, so obviously we're going to get into some sort of like new age contemporary hip hop with some trap elements some distorted basses and stuff like that. So don't worry, it's not just all this with like the, just the one instrument. There's like complete compositions here for you to check out. But yeah, it's actually my kind of vibe. Honestly, like, I think this is the kind of track you could listen to on a Sunday and just kind of really just in a beanbag and just chill with it. I think it encourages us to sort of actively listen to stuff when it isn't too desperate for our attention. So good job to Kashi XO on that. Final comment at 121. I think it's short enough where if you can hear what he has to say and if you don't like it, you can just move on. But if you do like it, you're going to probably listen to more anyways. So, you know, again, kudos to Kashi XO for that, you know. Um, sometimes you have someone put in like a 13 minute track as the first one off of an album and it's like no no that's too much that's too much for someone to listen to if they don't know your music it's too long you know it either has to be the best thing they've ever heard in their life or you have to be putting something <laughs> you have to really make it happen for you you know you have to be established finally i mean like the recording mixing and mastering the overall production side of things i think that uh you know the track was nicely balanced there in regards to the vocals and again that sort of instrumental accompaniment because there was so little in it you know it was it's very difficult to be fair to kind of sort of mess something like that up but there's a thousand and one ways to record a vocal take wrong for example and to be fair to kashi so the vocal take was nice and crisp and clear sounding it was very professional you know had a nice i'm not sure what they recorded that throw might have been like an sm7b or something like that it had that kind of sort of sheen to it it does make me want to listen to more of a sort of extended sort of arrangement so i'll do that in my own time you know it was nice and loud without being sort of too in your face and uh yeah genuinely like honestly like i could listen to this guy talk about whatever he's got that kind of voice the eqing and filtering on it was great and it kind of floated there there was a bit of space in that arrangement and there was no issues with like noise or sound or anything like that there's no excuse for it nowadays to be fair but we absolutely smashed that and yeah the limiting compression was fine it wasn't it was loud without pumping and from what i heard of stupid idiot just whilst us sort of briefly having a look through it it's basically the same for those tracks as well but thank you for watching my review of the song dog boy from kashi xo off of their dog boy album hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please do go show kashi xo some love via their various social medias and uh, their Spotify page and stay cool and stay safe and please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as you to help more than there with all the crazy stuff going on in the world and I'll catch you in the next review. Spot ends up.